All right, now in this example, we're going to be converting the following Ionic Greek numeral into Hindu Arabic numerals, the ones you're more used to, the ones we use all the time. Now, the Greek system can seem a little clunky because they have a completely different symbol for every number, basically. But once you know what number the symbols represent, it's pretty straightforward. You just add these symbols together, and you're done. So first of all, what is this? If you have the chart here with the Greek numbers, which is what I'm using, we have that this is chi, and its value is 600. So I've got 600. That's chi. Plus, so this kind of looks like a Q, but it's not. It is <laughs> cough, K-O-P-H, and its value is 90. Plus, well, this one's alpha, and that is 1. And so if you just add all these values together, you've got 690 and 1, or in other words, 691. Or you could say chi, cough, alpha, which is 691. So that is how the Ionic Greeks would write this number, and that is that example.